It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Indianapolis Colts. And it kicks off next on Madden NFL 25. Our coverage of the NFL has brought us to one of the league's most recognizable homes, Lucas Oil Stadium, opened in 2008 here in Indianapolis. Joined by a former NFL quarterback, I'll be in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And Rock, uh, and congrats, you can like to because I know you have quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right mm -hmm. over him for big yardage and maybe six points too. season cut short at just four games good to have him back from florida anthony richardson well injury well it rocked all of us kate and i mean all of us from watching the development of anthony richardson such an unbelievable unique skill set as big and strong as any quarterback in this league and if he took last year's experience of watching gardner Minshew, just watching a pro go to work if he took that experience with his skill set well the sky is the limit it's a completion of Michael Pittman Jr. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Here's the first carry for Jonathan Taylor. And not a lot of room for him as he's brought down. Only a yard on the pickup, so that's going to bring them to third down and three. Shotgun snap now to Richardson. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. You know, Kate, my years in Indianapolis with Peyton, he loved to know the tendencies of a defense. In third and short, more often than not, all across the league, you get man-to-man -man coverage. It really is a good time to throw. Unfortunately, couldn't execute that pass in a fourth down since then. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So the Steeler offense getting out there for its opening drive of the game. And bringing them out to fourth year quarterback and capable dual threat producer from Ohio State's Justin Fields. After three years in Chicago, a couple injuries and nearly breaking the all time quarterback rushing record, Justin Fields now finds himself a Pittsburgh Steeler. And the great thing about his skill set is with the heavy run game, the play action that comes off of it, and those powerful dynamic legs. Justin Fields may have found a much better home than he ever found in Chicago. On the carry, this is Najee Harris. And he found some running room for a nice game. It's an eight-yard pickup, and they're going to have second and two next. Once more. And he maybe got back to the line there, but no further. No gain on second down, and they need two here on third.
Pretty easy call to make. He lined up offsides, and now he gets a talking to from his coach. A fresh set of downs after that penalty. Here's first and ten. Out of the shotgun, Fields. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll get it up to the 44. Second down now, seven to go. Shotgun snap to Fields. Into the hands of Jefferson, complete. And this one does not go far. So now here's 35. Out of the shotgun, Fields. That's caught for the first. And this is marked down right along that 40-yard line. Give him 13 on that play. And that's a Steelers first down. Slated downs to approach here from the 40. Running left is Harris. And they're able to grind him to a halt after a pickup of four. Second and six coming up here. once more and he's brought down after a short game just running out on the play though that leaves him a third down and six to go shotgun snap to fields to deny a big play and make them work for the touchdown. If they want to reach the end zone, they have to scrap and fight through them. Facing fourth down, the Steelers opting for the field goal. Chris Boswell out to do the honors. Ball in the left hash, the distance 53 yards. The wind was at a sales cape, and it certainly helped that football fly true and right down the middle. And from that distance, to hit with that accuracy is one impressive shot. Fields it from the eight. And we have decent field position to be going up here, Brock. He's tackled just beyond that 30 yard line. The Colts with their offense out, their second drive coming up. And they haven't gotten very far into their opening script yet, have they? This is a three and out to begin this game. They've got first down from the 31. From the shotgun, it's Richardson. Short pass caught by his tight end. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Small pass, big result. This dude is just a juggernaut with the football. And once he gets rolling, it gets tougher and tougher and tougher to stop him from playing add-on with those yards. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Now there's the flag. Looks like the jump came from the left side of the line. So tough to stay set when you've got defenders doing everything they can to make you jump. And, well, they got one of them to move that time. 
They're set back five by that false start. Now 15 yards to the marker. Working from the gun, it's Richardson. Gets this one to Pierce. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. A give left side to Taylor. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Hey, these DNs love to get after the quarterback, but the most well-rounded of them are the guys who can anchor your run defense too. Mission accomplished. All plays on the table here for third and three. The shotgun, it's Richardson. That's coming first. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. That goes as a gain of 25 yards and picks up the first. Shotgun snap now to Richardson. Cut in the goal line. They rip off a big chunk of field and it sets him up with first and goal. Well, here's a spot where the timing's got to be absolutely perfect, Kate, between the quarterback and the receiver. That throw is made before that receiver's ever thinking of coming out of his cut. Too early, it's incomplete. Too late, and it's headed the other way. First and goal. Here's Taylor. And they try to power it forward, but only a couple of yards there. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. From the shotgun, it's Richardson. And this one hurts. Had a touchdown in his hands, but he couldn't. Oh, that is going to haunt him. A drop touchdown in the end zone. We'll see how good his mental toughness is. If he can move past it quickly and make an impact for them later. Buckle up. It's third and goal. Running with Taylor. Extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Sanchez has it all set for the kickoff. For Daryl Patterson, now to return. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Steeler offense out ready to go for their second drive. And they'll have a little momentum as they take the field here after their kicker drilled a deep one to end their last drive with points. Drive starts out with a first and ten. They'll start with a give to Harris. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. They gain 14 on the play. And he'll bring up a Pittsburgh first down.
Fields out of the gun. Two more three down that throw. That throw is incomplete ahead of the target. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Shotgun snap to Fields. Caught by Fryermuth. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Third and four coming up now. Out of the shotgun, Fields. say that without that ball being tipped, we are looking at a big game. It's a missed opportunity to push that offense in an even better play defensively to deny the throw. So punt coming up on fourth down, and it's against Belgium native Corliss Waitman with the honors. So this one sails over the sideline, and they'll spot it where a touchback would go at the 20-yard line. The Colts ready to take the field. And that last drive, no answer for what they were doing through the air. So expect some tighter coverage this time around. Drive starts out with a first and ten. It's an option right that begins this drive. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. We'll get a stoppage now. Looks like we have someone banged up after that run in need of some attention. Took him one play, partner, and they've already made it to that 40-yard line. Taylor gets it on first and ten. And he's brought down for a loss. You know why baseball coaches are called managers, Kate? Because they got to manage a lot of situations. And I've realized over time and talking to them, they love taking a situation, a game moment, and making it a team topic. That play, or that corner right there, I know this is a head football coach, not a head football manager, but he's going to take that play. He's going to illuminate it to his team and show the fearlessness of his corner making that tackle. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Kate, that's one of those situations as a quarterback that on my grade sheet, that's a negative. That screen was ambushed by the defense, and you've got to throw it away. Just find a way to put it at his feet and not create a negative play for your offense. Third and long for him here. He's going to try to drop it in deep right. And they really went for it on third down, didn't they? But the heave falls incomplete. Now they're facing fourth down. Well, he needed another second to deliver the throw he wanted to. you got to give a lot of credit that time, Kate, to the pass rush for getting in and forcing him to dish it before he was ready. Another punt coming up for Rigoberto Sanchez. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. That one, an impressive 57-yard kick. And the Steelers will take over possession. Fields. Oh, put some heat on this deep ball. Upside. He's counting his lucky stars. That one isn't headed the other way right now. That is not the time to challenge double coverage. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Now an in 
inside, handoff to Harris. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it's stopped. Here's five on that play. They need five more now on third down. You make that call to just give yourself a fighting chance on third down, Kate. Take at least a little bite of the big meal between them and the first down marker. And that, that should make this upcoming call a little less daunting. Fields now on third. Everybody could feel what that feels like <laughs> when you're a QB and you just feel the air in the pocket getting sucked out and you know there's no escape. It can be just one heck of a deflating feeling Not for that defense who puts a sack on the board. The Steelers set to punt it. Josh Downs deep for the Colts. He sends this away, and oh, this is going to be a field flipper. And that fair catch corralled just beyond the 25-yard line. So no return on that punt. And the Colts will take over. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Shotgun snap now to Richardson. Hauled in by Downs. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. We will not get another play in here. That's going to do it for quarter number one. 7-3 is our score. We'll take a brief pause and head back to Lucas Oil Stadium after this. Ready now for our second quarter. The Colts have the football. They're looking at second and three. That's complete to Pittman. And he's going to be blocked out at the 42. A 70-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Shotgun snap now to Richardson. He completes it in traffic. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. Not met many receivers in my life that don't love the spotlight, but you got to earn your place there. The easy way to do it, catches just like that. Going up into double coverage and making the play anyway. They'll throw again, Richardson. To the right side, complete big game here. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big game and a new set of downs. How about 29 yards on that play, partner, as they get the chains reset. They are now set for first and ten. Off the play fake. Here's Richardson. Oh, on him quick there. And they bring him to the turf. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Kate, I've seen a, a one-step drop. I've seen a three, a five, a seven. Some of the boots and play actions get more depth. But a 20-step drop? <laughs> That's not going to cut it. Except for this defense, it just adds a whole bunch of negative yards to that play. Let's see what they dial up on a second and very long. Trying again, following the set. Taylor makes the catch. And he's going to be brought down at the 23-yard line. I know that completion doesn't move the chains, but I love it nonetheless. You make sure that defense is aware of every eligible player going out. And this time it was out of the backfield with the running back that shows he's adept at catching it as well. Richardson on third. Finds his man down. He gets this down at the 13-yard line. They come through with a nice skin of 10 and a first down. Off 
option give to Taylor. And it took a couple of guys to hold him down there after a gain of just one. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. From the shotgun, it's Richardson. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. He was looking for Michael Pittman Jr. So they're left facing third and long. Hey, Kate, I know it's unrealistic to expect a 100% completion rate from anywhere on the field. But in this close, we really shouldn't be missing too many throws. Those need to be borderline automatic. Richardson on third. He's on the move. Great work there by the quarterback. The play broke down, didn't really have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise, and in the end brought the best call he could have made. Yeah, and you can do it in different ways in today's NFL, right? The, the Tom Brady's just recently retired. He did it with his brain. He did it with his mind, but you've got to be able to improvise, as you said. you got to be able to create when a play breaks down, and when you can put six on the board, man, does that infuse your offensive group of confidence. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Sanchez has it all set for the kickoff. Returning it from the four. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Now Pittsburgh's offense running back out for a new series. And they find themselves trailing by 11 as they take over down 14-3. Starts out with a first and ten. He'll start with a give to Harris. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. He made it six on the play, bringing up second and four. Shotgun Fields. That's going to be an incomplete pass on the throw to the right. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Shotgun snap to Fields. To the sideline, and he has the catch. Tough play for a small game, but it does get the first. Hey, Kate, they don't rightly care who it's going to go to in that situation. All they really care about are the results on third down. And that's exactly the result they needed, enough to keep this track moving. Who set it down for him at the 38. So early movement on the left side there, but was he the first to go? Or was he provoked? There was a blitz coming, and that got somebody to panic and jump early. It cost him five yards. They're set back five by that false start. Now 15 yards to the marker. Running it after the penalty. And this run is stopped after getting up past the 35. It's a 40-yard scamper, and they get some yards back. It's second and 11.
comes the Colts offense now for another possession. And that last drive, no answer for what they were doing through the air. So expect some tighter coverage this time around. While a new offense preps to head out, we've got a stoppage. They want to make sure this is a turnover. All right, so we all know what we're looking for here, Brock. Where did an elbow, maybe a knee, something touch down? And as it does, is the ball loose at that point? Yeah, throw in forearm, wrist, shin. <laughs> There's no question the offensive guy is screaming. Something hit the ground while the defense is hoping it didn't. So the review saves them a turnover. He was, in fact, already down when the ball came free. So near disaster a moment ago, but the drive's still in trouble if they can't convert on third. Out of the shotgun, Fields. Complete beyond the marker. And this is marked down right along that 40-yard line. That play good for 17 and a first down. to get you a one-on-one. -on -one. It's your job to go out and win it, and win it with a touchdown. Chris Boswell for the point after. splits the uprights and they're a point closer now on the scoreboard something similar yeah and I don't love to use the word can't right but this can't be a three and out for this offense right yeah, here they got to yeah. give their defense a chance to catch a breath and turn some of the momentum in the building and the drive will start out with a first and ten Taylor gets it to begin the drive and he's still looking for the play that sparks the ground game as that won't stop for a loss perception and reality Kate the perception out there from the public his edge rushers are defined by their sacks. The reality in a locker room and in the huddle is you can be defined by your relentlessness. And his motor never stopped. Helped him track it down for a loss on the outside. Second down carry for Taylor. And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. 
They get those two yards back, but now it leaves them with third and ten. From the shotgun, it's Richardson. He's got it, room to run. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. It's a game of 12 there. And it's good for Indianapolis first down. Going from the pistol, Richardson. Gatlin's got it. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They got 24 yards on the play. And it's good for an Indianapolis first down. They're set up at the 35 now. On first down, it's Richardson. Still going at the 30. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. The goal of that little drag route is to get him for at least a minimal game with space to add after that. That picked up a good chunk, and it was nearly a big play. Second and three now. They'll throw again. Richardson. No hesitation. That one's caught. And they've got him down near the red zone at the 22. He gets six on that play. And it'll be first down, Colts. I'll tell you this. You don't want to make a living throwing into double coverage, but double coverage and still finding a way to beat the defense and haul it in. That's not a situation many players win. And there aren't a lot of quarterbacks willing to make that throw and trust their receiver to get it done. First down throw here from Richardson. And the Steelers get home. They drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. You know, when we watch Combine each and every single year, I hope you get good enough to understand as a football fan, watch the big guy's first 10 yards. Don't watch the ends and the linemen run 40. Watch their first 10 because that's the most critical. And that defensive end showed you right there the kind of explosive burst in the first few yards to get home for the big sack. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Trying again, following the sack. Pittman's got it. And they stop him. He's marked down along that 18-yard line. Third and six for them to figure out now. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. Chased out to his right. He'll make a big foot on the ground. And that's good yardage for the new set of downs. Now we get a timeout from the Colts. That's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Option give to Taylor. And he's still looking for the play that sparks the ground game as that one stopped for a loss. Yeah, two things come into play when you get to these goal to go situations, Kate. I always love mixing cadence. I know it can be dangerous because you can give up five yards, but also if you're aggressive with it, you can get a free down, but it gets your guys excited to get off the football and get that surge while well, that group offensively did not get on that one. The shot to the end zone is incomplete. I hate those situations, Cade, as a QB. I'm looking for an open passing lane, and I can't find one anywhere. He thought he had one available. Defense did a better job of knocking it away. Buckle up. It's third and goal.
Running with Taylor. And they take it across the goal line for an Indianapolis touchdown. The Colts will add to their lead at the end of the half. It's a Jonathan Taylor touchdown. Now a rushing score a quarter for him in this opening half, Brock. Should be a pretty nice feeling in that locker room at halftime, knowing what he's already accomplished. Kind of get the feeling this isn't the whole show, though, right? <laughs> in his eyes, this is just the opening act. There's going to be a lot more to come when the curtain raises for the second half. Gay to add the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Sanchez has it all set for the kickoff. He'll bring it out from a couple yards deep. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. This drive starts with barely any time left. 13 seconds in the half. They'll turn to the ground game and just run this clock down. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. Just before halftime, we get a timeout taken. Reset ball at the 37. Looking to throw. Completed here to pick in. And they'll make the stop up at the 46 yard line. Just before halftime, we get a timeout taken. point from Indianapolis with the Colts out in front at the break. Now we'll send you south to Orlando for a check-in around the league via Jonathan Coachman and the EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, what you got for us? All right, Kate, sit tight. We'll get back to you and Brock in just a moment. But for now, this is our Halftime Report. We saw former rushing champ Jonathan Taylor be a big-time factor in that first half. He had a nose for the end zone as he wound up with two touchdowns on the ground in those first two quarters. Sanchez has it all set for the kickoff. Calvin Austin on the return. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. The Steelers and George Pickens set for this next possession. They've got first down from the 31. Pistol snap, Fields. He finds Pickens left side. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. That goes as a gain of 25 yards and picks up the first.
One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. First down throw for Fields. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. Will go out of bounds close to the 35-yard line. Second and three now. Going to Harris to start the half. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. once more. And it took a couple of backs to hold him down there after a gain of just one. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Staying on the ground with Harris. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting they push it forward for a yard. That brings up third and eight. Out of the shotgun. Fields escapes the pocket. Oh, he's going to run for it. He's finally caught. The other quarterback run on the field as it gives the ball away. The Colts have running back Jonathan Taylor headed out with the rest of the offense. And unsurprisingly, Brock, a great day on the scoreboard so far for him. Has him with the advantage as we move through this third quarter. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Taylor gets it to begin the drive. And he's going to go down, but a solid run there that pushes them to the 14. A nice six-yard pickup. They're going to have second and four. Looking from the gun, it's Richardson. On target to bounds. And he's going to get this up to the 26 before being taken down. It's a gain of 12 there. And it's good for an Indianapolis first down. the gun, Taylor, and it took a couple of guys to haul him down there after a gain of just one. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Shotgun snap now to Richardson. That one falls to the turf, couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. And this is why scouts talk about a player's closing speed, Kate. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released. And that sure altered the throw. So after that prior incompletion, we got third down. From the shotgun, it's Richardson. And he catches May down the right side. A strike for 23 yards. And it's good for Indianapolis first down. <laughs> Shot. 
Shotgun snap now to Richardson. Holding love down. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. They'll throw again. Richardson. Quick hit complete. And he'll head out of bounds after a short game. All plays on the table here for third and three. Option give to Taylor. And he has it to the 42 before they make the stop. It's a gain of only one yard. That's going to leave him with a fourth and two. So the defense rises to the challenge and gives the ball back to their offense. The Steelers and Najee Harris making their return to the field. Yeah, I don't care that they didn't get it. Still the right call in that situation. It's a little too long for a field goal, and a punt really nets you very few yards. The decision-making was sound. It was the execution that let them down. The Steelers with some very good field positions. They get set, first and ten. Harris gets it on the counter. And he powers through the middle for a gate of four. Second and six coming up here. Some early movement on the left side there, but was he the first to go, or was he provoked? So tough to stay set when you've got defenders doing everything they can to make you jump, and well, they got one of them to move that time. Offense to the line for second down. They send a tight end in motion. They'll run here, following the penalty. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. A gain of four for them, and that sets up third and seven. Shotgun snap to Fields. coaches on every practice field we're on preach not giving up the big play, especially at the NFL level. They need to stay vigilant because they're definitely going to use that receiver to take the lid off this defense again. The Steelers set to put it. He sends this away. Definitely his best kick of the game thus far. That hits at the nine, but nobody around to grab it. It carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Colts and Anthony Richardson headed back onto the field. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Taylor gets it to begin the drive. And he powers through the middle for a gain of four. Second and six coming up here. From the 24.
a huge point of emphasis for so many defenses, clogging up the middle of the field. They saw that receiver enter the middle and did a terrific job of fading the quarterback into the throw and an even better job of forcing the interception. The Steelers and George Pickens set for this next possession. And that interception has set them up beautifully inside the red zone. They're out and set. First and ten. Shotgun fields. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Just couldn't hang on through the contact. And it's going to be second down. Hey, Kate, I know it's unrealistic to expect a 100% completion rate from anywhere on the field. But in this close, you really shouldn't be missing too many throws. Those need to be borderline automatic. This is Harris on second down. They take him down, but he's able to get this inside the red zone. They get about four there. Need a little more than that now on third and six. When you don't have great success on first down, Kate, it's a little bit like a hitter in baseball falling behind in the count. And all you want to do as a hitter is get back to a fighting chance. Give yourself a better count. That play, well, does the same here. Now a much more manageable and opportune third down situation. He's right. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Oh, man, those defensive players hate slipping quarterbacks. Near impossible to keep them hedged in or corral them behind the line there. He evades them long enough to turn a potential loss into positive yardage. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Trying to run in. Harris. And he's caught behind the line for a while. You trust me on this one, Kate. When you get a run call on first and goal and you go backwards, you lose an immense amount of confidence. That play caller, that offensive line, everybody's frustrated. They got to regroup and regroup in a hurry. It's second and goal. Fields out of the gun. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. chances to make that type of play for your team. You've got to come through on that touchdown. They do snap it. Here's Fields. He can't get away. They get the sack and force a turnover on down. He won't get to the end zone and they turn it over as fourth and goal fails. I'm going to guess a little deal was cut there by these pass rushers in the huddle. You guys in the secondary, just buy us a little time. We don't need perfect coverage. Just tighten things up so we can get home. And boy, did they ever in a big moment. The Colts offense set to head out. They are coming off their first interception of the game. This drive now a chance to rebuild some confidence. They're out and set. First and ten. Taylor gets it to begin the drive. And the plunge up the gut yields nothing there. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. Takes off right out of the read option. And he got it real close, but stopped just about a yard or so shy of that first down. The difference right there, Kate, between that gain and a big hit for a loss, some really quick decision-making. He made a quick read, saw the running back was going to get hit if he handed it, and he pulls it himself for a positive gain. 
Third and a lone yard coming up. Shotgun snap now to Richardson. He's got it to him yet again. That is caught. And they take him down at the 24-yard line. So we hit the end of the third quarter. This one not out of reach quite yet, but it is a two-score game to begin the fourth. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and ten. Short side option here, he's running left. And this one does not go far. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. It's just a nice little tester for the defense to gauge how well it can account for the quarterback when he decides to run it. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Working from the gun, it's Richardson. Pittman's got it. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. On the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Shotgun, hand off to Taylor. And he gets it past the 50 and down to the Steelers' side of the field. Good rip on first down. That brings up second and two. Play action with Richardson. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Not an open passing lane to be found anywhere. He took what he thought was the best one available, and they still managed to tip the ball away. No connection on the last play, and out third down. From the gun, Taylor. He's going to be brought down after reaching the 43. Five yards on that play and enough for a new set of downs. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Taylor again. Good yardage with a new set of downs. They'll come up first and ten. On the shotgun, it's Richardson. Left side, pulled in by Pittman. They gained 14 on the play. It's good for an Indianapolis first down. can give to Taylor. And they take it across the goal line for an Indianapolis touchdown. The Colts have likely locked up the win right there. It's a Jonathan Taylor touchdown. His third of the game on the ground.
okay to add the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Sanchez has it all set for the kickoff. His return starts at the five. His return makes it up to the 25. The Steelers and George Pickens set for this next possession. Remember, the O-line looks to be in some pain. They're headed out to take a look at him now. to expect a 100% completion rate from anywhere on the field. But in this close, you really shouldn't be missing too many throws. Those need to be borderline automatic. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Out of the shotgun. Fields. Fryer meet there. Bring it in. And he's taken down at the 30. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. First and ten now from the 30. On play action, it's Fields. Throwing all the way to the end zone here. This is Cup. Looks like he stayed in bounds too. Great work. Wow, just fantastic work there. Tiptoeing along the back line. The concentration was there. Great catch for six. Yeah, the concentration and the body control. I don't know how these receivers do it in this day and age. There's no space to work with, yet they have such an awareness to secure it first, to tap dance the line, and go get that touchdown. Boswell to add the PAT. That one splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard.
Now Boswell on to send this away. This return stuck to the five. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. The Colts have running back Jonathan Taylor headed out with the rest of the offense. And they have leaned on him to get this offense to the end zone in the game, and he's delivered. He's hit Peter three times, part of a really nice game for him so far, Brock. Been returning good value on the looks that he's been getting. drive will start out with a first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Richardson. Gets this one to Pierce. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. Markers reset, ball at the 37. First down throw here from Richardson. Pittman's got it. And he's touched down after a nice pick up there to get the first. Hey, let's get those next-gen stats out here, Kate. See just how far he had to run between the snap of the football and when he finally got the throw. Did a beautiful job of settling down into zone coverage, even though it took him a whole lot of distance to get there. Richardson now on first and ten. Got a man over the middle. Complete. And he gets it past the 50 and down to the Steelers' side of the field. Second and three now. Short side option here. He's running left. And he's going to be brought down at the 35-yard line. They get an even 10 on that play. And it'll be first down, Colts. Not that he needed to, but he'll always try and remind people that he's a threat running it in addition to slinging it all over the field. They're set up at the 35 now. First down throw here from Richardson. Taking a shot for the end zone. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away, and that makes it second down. He was looking for Michael Pittman Jr. And that'll bring up second down. I hate those situations, Cade, as a QB. I'm looking for an open passing lane, and I can't find one anywhere. He thought he had one available. Defense did a better job of knocking it away. Second down carry for Taylor. And they bring him down around the 34. Only a yard from that time, so now third and nine. Some movement there before the snap. Right side of the line. This is going to back them up. There was a blitz coming, and that got somebody to panic and jump early. It cost them five yards. Penalty not helping their cause for this third down. Shotgun snap now to Richardson. Got him in over the middle. Complete. And he's going to be brought down at the 23-yard line. How about that play, Brock? They find a way to convert. They'll keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and ten. Off the play fake. Here's Richardson. Here's a throw on the out route, complete. And he's out of bounds inside the red zone, just short of the 15. When you see play action, do all you can to get your eyes to the tight end, because that's their bread and butter. That play action gives him time off the line, helps chip a rusher, or even helps sell that fake. And then when he releases, he gets out, he gets some leverage, he gets to that edge before the defender can cover him. 
He brings it in. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Shotgun, hand off to Taylor. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Okay, when it gets to these goal-to-goal -goal situations, you just feel that defense, and they're back up against the wall, and they know if they're going to prevent a touchdown, the best chance to do it is to knock them backwards on that first play, and especially a run like that. To knock them backwards, that's going to give them a great shot to hold them to a field goal. It's second and goal. Another shot for Taylor. And it's a game down to the five-yard line. Now just four seconds after our two-minute warning, we've got another pause. Timeout taken by the defense. Buckle up. It's third and goal. Shotgun snap now to Richardson. Headed out right. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. Now whistles and a timeout taken quickly by the defense. 150 left to go. Fourth down is going to bring out Matt Gay and the Colts field goal unit for the first time. Angling this one in from the right hash to challenge here. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that extends their lead to 14. That kick, well, it throws a roadblock up on some of the remaining avenues to get back in this game and really leaves only one remaining. It's going to take two touchdowns if they want a shot at it. And we know those odds, they're getting pretty long. Sanchez has it all set for the kickoff. Here's a return from the seven. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Pittsburgh getting its offense all set to go. And they're coming off an excellent series throwing the football that led to that touchdown, Brock. So you and I both expecting that defense to be looking for that on this series. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Looking to throw it. And the Colts get to him. He goes down. And a big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Never ever a great look when your quarterback's picking himself up a few seconds into a drive. They're going to need a lot more fight on second down and a whole lot of yardage to get this back on track. Hurry up offense now as time runs down. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And they get him right at the line of scrimmage. It's sure nice to have that safety valve. Sure nice to have a running back but not just able to tote it, Kate, but he's able to catch it. That's now multiple times they've looked his way. And multiple times he's delivered. Steelers working with a sense of urgency from the hurry up clock, continuing to run. And he makes the right. No, he didn't hang on. It falls incomplete. Looking for George Pickens that time. And now they're staring at fourth and long. Man, with how hard it is, Kate, to get these plays down the field, can't let the coverage off the hook with a drop. Just can't happen. And you're going to see it right here. He saw the open space ahead of him and started running before he ever brought the ball fully in. That's incomplete on fourth down. And they'll turn over possession. Hey, I am all for aggression. You get four downs, go for it. But I do have to wonder here, Kate, after being denied once again, is there going to be a trust level on that sidelines to go for it the next time they get this shot?
Victory formation here. Looks like they're going to take a knee on first down. And he's going to take a knee. The Steelers use their third and final timeout. That's all they had. So the offense free to start running the clock down now. Lining up to take a knee on second down. And he's going to take a knee. There's still some time to bleed off the clock, but the important factor is that the defense is helpless to stop it. You could just run that clock down as far as you're able and take off every single second. Setting up for the kneel down on third. And he's going to take a knee. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot. And now you can enjoy the victory. So the Colts pick up the win in this one. They did their part, Brock, defending the home field, using that advantage to secure the victory. We know home field advantage is a real thing. The crowd, they did their part, too, adding to just an awesome atmosphere helping energize those players at big moments of